What is up boys, it's Brandon here back with another video and as this video plays I thought I'd just do a little um, a little commentary uh, talking about the future of Fortnite, my channel, things like that. So I've not, I don't really do these kind of videos and I think I might do them a little more because um, I don't really talk enough and I need to talk more to grow my confidence and stuff like that. So um, my channel is currently sitting at 125 subscribers and to me that's actually proper pretty amazing like I'm, I'm actually really grateful for every subscriber that I've got and uh, I do hope to grow a lot more in the future and bring better content out I'm gonna get better equipment to make better videos and stuff like that because I know share factory is not really good to make videos on it's absolute ass um, so I do want to improve in that sense if there is any other ways you think I can improve on my channel please comment below because um, I want to create like a community than to grow my channel as big as it can be. I will play other games as well. Uh, I'm not just going to stick to Fortnite, but I will always play Fortnite, obviously, as long as Fortnite's going to be going. So first off, I'm going to start with my overall opinions of Season 10. And I must say that Season 10 has been absolute monkey ass. It has been one of the worst seasons I have ever played in Fortnite. I mean, I'll, I'll play Fortnite. I never really played it a lot. I've literally been playing this game non-stop for two months now. Before that, I had a nine-month break. And before that, I were a complete bot anyway. Uh, so, if you, if anyone wants to call me a bot or out, you can. But I've only been playing it two months realistically. I've not been smashing it for long. And I've also been changing my sensitivity around a lot, which is not very... Not very good, but I think I'm comfortable with what I've got now with new settings. As long as the Fortnite doesn't change anything again, I will be pretty happy. So with Season 10, what have we had? They've took out the best mobility in the game. they put in mechs. What were they thinking with mechs? I know they've got to help move from that, but come on, man. Mechs. I've never seen some so, something so OP. You could, have a, you could have five weapon slots full of double pumps. And completely, and just keep regenerating health, and it would be less OP than the mechs. I am not even joking. You could have that, and unlimited redeploys, and it would still be less OP than the mechs. The mechs were so OP, it makes God and Ramsey's swear jaw look small. I'm not even joking with that shit. And then what else did we have? They took out the combat. That wasn't really a bad idea because, to be honest, the combat were pretty OP as well. But they didn't really need to do that. What is this guy doing here? Absolute pillock. Yeah, but they took the combat out. I think, overall, Season 9 were a pretty good season with the mobility they had. Um, they had the good mobility, obviously. New locations. Mega Mall were pretty sweet. I'll always love going to Mega Mall. Uh, I think everyone with Mega Mall, to be honest, it would just, but it would just if you didn't find a combat, you were dead. Like, but then with season ten, they took all the mobility out. The games feel slow. They have put skill-based matchmaking in, making it almost impossible to win a game. Like I'm not even joking. You can say try order and shit like that, but realistically, you're playing against a hundred people at the, the similar skill levels to you. Compared to before, you might get two sweats in a game, and then. Like, you could get 80 bots and then fucking, what, 18 good play 18 decent players. That's nowhere near as bad. And it took out the fun of, you never know who's uh, who you're going to be versing. Now you do know, you kind of expect it, don't you? So you're going to try your ass off. So with everyone's sweating it, you know, there's less time for fun. And it's just, it's just a complete edit, really. And it's left everyone to play zone walls and that. I've been struggling to make videos just because... I've just been playing Zone Wars and creative and I, I just don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again so hopefully things will change in Season 11. Like I have no doubt that they will change things. Um, so now I'm going to move on to my opinions of Season 11 or will it be Season Chapter 1, uh, Chapter 2, um, Season 1. I think that's what they'll call it. So, by the looks of it, on that new leak, if anyone's seen it, if you've not seen it, just go and watch Jarvis's video, he talks about it a little bit. But it basically says uh, Chapter 2 and it looks like a, a new map. But I think it looked, to be honest, it looks more like a portal loot lake and then tilted being rebuilt. I'm not sure, maybe they will keep a few locations. Maybe this rift's going to blow up and it's going to warp 
everything into a completely new location, but taking some of the old locations that are around Tilted, like Pleasant Park, it might take Salty Springs because everyone loves Salty Springs. Uh, I think there'll be a lot of new weapons. Hopefully, they remove the tax shotgun because that gun is absolute ass. I'm sick of eating people for 20. As you can see, uh, I must have hit this guy like four or five times just to kill him. Like, what kind of shit's that? Like, it's not a long range weapon, it's not a short range weapon, it's just ass. It's like complete donkey ass. I don't want that baby shit in my inventory. So then you're left with pump, and it's like, what? Also, I think they should keep the flint up in the game. I don't know why it's so rare now. Like, the loophole in Fortnite is so strange. You can, you'll get a weapon what's common, like, you should get it all the time, and you never find it. Because there's too much room for, like, other shit weapons that you're not going to need. To be honest, I find Chug Splash more than anything. Except for them times where I don't find Chug Splash, then I just don't find any heals at all. Then, then I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Do you know how many games I lose because I've got no heals? It's absolute insa insanity, sorry. So yeah, I think what they're going to do is bring Fortnite back to basics uh, quite a lot. Because that's what everyone wants. We just want it a bit more basic than what it is. They're just making it far too complicated. The meta's too hard to get grips of. And you, you, I'm literally spending six to ten hours a day playing this game to try and improve to get better for you guys and also compete because uh, that's another thing I want to do. We're spending all this time trying to get used to new meta. It's changing like every every week, uh, so it just needs to be a bit more basic so people can just chill out and actually have fun on the game without everyone taking it serious. I don't know what the I also I don't know what they're gonna do with skill based matchmaking either. Because, to me, it's got its negatives and its positives. But overall, I think not a lot of people like it, to be honest. Because it's like, if you're really good at the game, you're just going to be playing really good players, like I said before. And then, you're just not going to have too much fun. I don't know how that guy got up there as well. What kind of shit's that? Get rid of get rid of the rift in Loot Lake. Get gone. We don't want it. We don't want it anymore, Fortnite. Epic, just listen to your community for once. Yeah. Uh, I've completely forgot what I was saying. Right, so yeah, regarding that, I've watched Foreman's videos. He talks a lot of sense, to be honest, because um, he says I was not having fun on Fortnite anymore. Not a lot of people are, unless you're creating Smurf accounts, but you get banned for that now, so there's no point doing that. I think I'm looking forward to in Season 11 or um, Chapter 2 of Season 1. is going to be, you know, um, no points in Arena, so I could just clap some bots for a bit. Oh, that guy got really unfortunate as well. Yeah, so I hope they just make it a bit more basic. Take a few guns out. We don't need this many guns. It's absolutely destroying the little pool. Like, some t I, there was this one game. I found four grey revolvers. No, three grey revolvers and one green revolver in a building. That is it. And then there's this guy in the basement of that building. It comes up with two blue pumps, bro. How do you... What is the sense in that? I get four grey revolvers... And he gets two blue pumps. Knocks me. I, I wish I had the recording, but I didn't record it at the time. He knocks me and then drops both of the pumps to show me he's got two blue pumps. That's how I know. I was like, oh my god, you've got to be joking me, mate. So take out, take out some of the loot pool. I think... Um, they need to, I think they need to do some bandages. Nobody says this, but why a bandage is actually 3.5 seconds to put one on when it's 15 health? At least make it 2.5 seconds or 2 seconds to make it a bit more even. You can't even get one bandage off by the time the next guy comes. So anyway, that's my thoughts and opinions on season uh, 10, 11, whatever. Blah. If you like this video, uh, please drop it a like, subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, then um, drop something in the comments and tell me what you'd like to see. Yeah, so that is going to be it for the video, guys. Uh, I don't know what this last clip is. I just threw it in because I kind of run out of clips. Uh, but give it a thumbs up if you think Season 11 is uh, going to be good. Thumbs up if... Uh, thumbs down, sorry, if you just think it's going to be bad. Like, I don't I don't care if you dislike the video. It really doesn't bother me. Um, but uh, let me know if, you've, if you're done with Fortnite, if you're going to get another chance in Season 11. I know I'll get another chance and a lot of people will... Uh, it might bring loads of people back, you never know, but if you want to subscribe to my channel, I will keep you updated on everything and you'll be able to see what's going to happen. I'm also going to live stream the event uh, when it happens later on today. Uh, I think it's at 6pm, but a lot of people are saying 7pm for some reason, I'm not sure why. Uh, but nevertheless, I'll, 
you, you'll see the live stream on my channel if you do subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. Uh, also, I've got to create a code now. It is a uh, code BrandonAid. If you want, it's just the same as my YouTube name. If you want to use that in the item shop and support me, that would that would be the best way to support me, really. Because uh, I do want to make YouTube a career of mine. Um, also, I'm going to be doing... Uh, I know this is a bit off topic from Fortnite, but I'm going to be playing uh, The Hour Worlds when that comes out, because that's a new video. Uh, a new game. Uh, uh, if there is any other games, also, that you think are worth playing, worth a watch, uh, and you'd like to see me play them, then leave that in the comments as well. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. I think I'm going to do more videos like this. Uh, I'm just not very confident in this section. Um, so thank you for watching. Mwah. Have a lovely day. Peace out from Brandon Aid. Bye.